Hey there YouTube, welcome to another Tech Me Out video, thank you so much for being here, I appreciate each and every one of you. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when new videos come out. In today's video, unlike previous videos, I would like to do something that is completely for fun. I work in IT and I, my livelihood is IT, but every once in a while in my home lab, I would like to do stuff that is, are completely fun or a goof off. And in today's video, we are going to do just that. We are going to install the new Windows Server 2022, which is, of course, an insider preview at this point. But the most interesting thing, thing is that is no longer being branded as a, a Windows Server or not even another build of Windows Server in 2019. It's branded Windows Server 2022. So we would install it on ESXi server, see the, uh, the overall uh, system, see if it has something new to offer us. And basically this is it. So join me in the computer. We'll start installing the new uh, server system and see what it's all about. Join me. All right, guys, so we are at the computer and we are really going to breeze through this process. We are going to install Windows Server 2022, which is now in, in still in Insider Preview, but it is going to replace a Windows Server 2019. This will be the LTSC uh, version. Uh, right now we can install it and see how it behaves, what it looks like. Uh, um, the process is exactly the same as uh, installing Windows Server 19. Uh, all it comes down to is just creating a new virtual machine. By the way, if you want to uh, get the ISO file for the installation, just search uh, on Google or your uh, favorite search provider uh, in Windows Server 2022 uh, Insider Preview. Uh, we, are, we are not going to spend uh, time about getting the ISO. We'll just create a new virtual machine. Let's call it server 2022. Let's pick a data store. And we are going to choose the guest operating system server 2019. 2022 is not yet available in this drop down list. And real quick, we are going to do everything almost, almost default. We're going to assign it a network and it's going to be VMXNet3. We are going to assign the ISO file. I have it already on my NAS. All right, don't forget to check this checkbox. Otherwise, it's just won't, it will just ignore the ISO file. Click on next and finish. That's all there is to it. It's exactly the same, nothing special as exactly as installing Windows 10 or Windows Server 2019. Let's go ahead and power up the virtual machine. Let's boot from DVD. And as you can see, they already branded it as Windows Server 2022. Let's install. I don't have a product key. By the way, I will, uh, I will uh, put the KMS product keys in the description section of the video. So please check it out. I will choose the standard with desktop experience. Otherwise it will just be server core. Click on next, choose our hard drive. And we will not let the installation uh, run its course. All right, so the installation is finished. Let's give ourselves a password for the local administrator account. And let's log in. And by the way, guys, if the operating system looks 
very familiar and very similar to Windows Server 2019, you're not mistaken, this is not really a new version of the Windows operating system. It's not. Even though it's called Windows Server 2022, the core of the operating system was not changed. It's just a feature update, a more, I know, a modern features, updates, everything above the operating system level. And indeed, the operating system looks very much like Windows Server 2019. One obvious change I can see here that is that it comes with window and uh, with Microsoft Edge. Let's take a look at the start menu. Seems like uh, maybe the icons are more re refined or uh, maybe have a new uh, modern design. That's cute, but I mean, it's a server operating system, so it doesn't really matter. Let's check out of here. So it looks like it's the exact same Edge version as uh, the desktop versions. Let's look at the system. Seems like it's uh, like in Windows uh, 10, uh, starting from 20H2. Uh, click and go system takes you to the settings menu, not the classic system menu. That's fine. We can see that it's server 2022 standard. One thing I would like to try is to install the VMware tools. Let's give it a shot. Now, this goes without saying, but I am going to say it. This is an insider preview. Whatever you do, I, I think that you, even if you wanted to, you couldn't. Do not run it anywhere near a production environment. Way too soon for that. All right, let's try to install VMware tools. It should work. I mean, it's, it's the same core operating system version. All right, seems like it's uh, performing just fine. All right, no failures. Let's give it a reboot. All right, so VMware tools were installed. That's great. Server manager looks exactly the same. And as we can see, it's Windows Server 2022. This was a really quick rundown of the installation and the look and feel of the operating system. Nothing too technical. We are basically just goofing off in this video. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will be notified when new videos come out. This was a quick goof off in this channel and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.